The days are getting shorter and the nights getting colder across the state, but experts are warning people not to let their guard down against ticks. As of October 30th, the Maine Center for Disease Control and Prevention is reporting 855 cases of Lyme, 596 cases of anaplasmosis, and 129 cases of babesiosis. But these numbers could actually be higher because some patients spend months or even years trying to get a correct diagnosis. Part of the problem is that standardized tests can often miss the disease early on when the antibody levels are low. But as New Center's Vivian Lee shows us, a new rapid test for Lyme is on the horizon, possibly within the next few years, which could mean better outcomes for patients. Elizabeth Nelson was about to enter high school when she ended up in the emergency room. She had debilitating pain, flu-like symptoms, and extreme fatigue. Her parents, who have Lyme, immediately suspected the disease. But her pediatrician refused to give her a blood test because she didn't have any typical symptoms, like a bullseye rash, a test she believes would have meant getting treated sooner. I think that I wouldn't have had to lose what amounted to my entire childhood. Experts say when diagnosed and treated early, Lyme disease is simple to get rid of. Untreated over the long term can cause a host of medical problems. The CDC recommends a two-step blood test that looks for antibodies. The body's immune system makes them to fight against the disease. In the first three weeks after infection, the test is only 40 percent accurate. We can make uh, a call sooner than what you would usually do with the two-step assay. Dr. Maria gomez Solecki is a professor of microbiology at the University of Tennessee Health Science Center. She received a grant from the National Institutes of Health to develop a rapid test for Lyme. The test would be a single test that uses several biomarkers to detect Lyme in a short amount of time. To develop an assay that is highly sensitive and highly specific. So something that will detect Lyme disease and Lyme disease only. Now, experts say people who spend time outdoors are at risk for getting tick-borne illnesses pretty much all year long, especially when temperatures are mild and the weather is wet. But ticks are showing up in places people may not expect. And I immediately saw legs, and I'm like, oh no, here we go again. Earlier this week, Elizabeth's mom noticed a dark spot on her husband's back just below the shoulder. It was an embedded tick. They think he got the tick while at the gym especially if they're using locker rooms and showers and whatnot, and the clothes are coming off and they're thrown in the locker, you really need to be aware that there's a possibility that ticks are there too. The family started a nonprofit which educates doctors to camps about resources for diagnosing and preventing tick-borne illnesses. The Nelson Family Project has distributed more than 33,000 packets across the state. Elizabeth's father received prompt treatment after going to the emergency room and the family's hopeful the bite won't lead to full-blown Lyme again. In Bath, Vivian Lee, New Center, Maine.